Creating New Project and Adding Background Image. In this section, we are going to see how to create a shooting game in Cocos 2D from scratch. Let's start by creating a new Xcode project. From the screen here, choose the Cocos 2D framework under the iOS section. Press Next to go to the next page. Here, give a name for the project. Let's name it as Aim and Shoot. Now press the Next button. As we can see, Xcode is prompting us to choose the Save Location for the project. Select a location for saving the project and press the Create button. Our new application is now ready and is opened in the Xcode window. Now let's build and run the project and see how it looks like. As we can see, the project runs with the default Cocos 2D logo as the splash screen. The landing screen consists of white colored Hello World text displayed in black background. We can also see the frame rate of the project displayed at the bottom left corner of the screen. Frame rate 60.0 or closer will mean optimal performance. Let's stop the execution of the project and continue with our project. Open the Hello World layer implementation file. Here inside the init method, we can see the lines of code for creating a label in Cocos 2D and adding that label to the scene. Let's remove these lines of code as we don't need this in our project. Keep the size object as we will be needing that. Run the project and we can see the Hello World text has been successfully removed from the scene. As we can see, the app runs in portrait mode. Since our app works in landscape mode, let's change the orientation to landscape. For this, open the app delegate implementation file. Here, go to the application did finish launching method. Here, set the orientation of the application to KCC device orientation landscape left using the set device orientation property of the director. We can remove the other lines of code corresponding to the portrait orientation. Now, let's go ahead and run the application. We can see that the orientation of the project has changed from portrait to landscape. Now we have to add a background for the project. Let's add the new background image to the project resources by dragging and dropping the image to the project navigator. Make sure that the copy items into destination groups folder is selected and the target is also selected. Once these things are verified, press the finish button to finish importing the image to the project. We can see the image preview by selecting the image file in the Project Navigator. Now open the Hello World implementation file. Inside the init method, create a sprite with the Sprite with File method and give the file name as the name of the image file we have just now added to the project. Set the position of the sprite as the center of the screen using the size object. Next, add this newly created sprite object to the scene using the add child method. Let's run the application. We can see that the image has been added to the scene, but only a portion of the image is visible in the screen. This is because the original image resolution is high with respect to the iPhone screen resolution. We can fix this by scaling the sprite object to half its size using its scale property. Run the application and we can see that the image is now displayed perfectly on the screen. So we have successfully added an image's background for the application.